Here is a big underground garage in Oslo for electric cars only. And while you're here, it's free parking and free charging. You do need an app to allow entrance in and uh, exit. Uh, we're now in Oslo, where we arrived last night, uh, went to see Beyond Nealand, uh, gives us a nice Thai meal. Uh, he's going nimbering now around country somewhere, he's got a really long trip this one. I said we're in the centre of Oslo, centre park, the, the fountain. We were here last in 2007. So, get on with his day in Oslo. Well, we are leaving Oslo today, heading towards Åland to go through the longest road tunnel in the world. Uh, I just forgot its name, can't remember. And then from there we're going uh, towards a place called The View, which is right up top of a mountain. Big, massive viewing area they've built up there. So, we'll see uh, probably a bit of road shot and through the tunnel and uh, up the view. Right, bye. <laughs> Supercharger or Ghoul, however it's pronounced, Yaps. Beyond goes there quite readily. That's a Danish uh, one at the end there. They're engineers and they've just been changing all the plugs on the chargers, putting all new ones on. Orland supercharger and it's quite full now in fact it will be full we're just about to go through the longest road tunnel in the world which is up that road surrounded by mountains here for some even got snow still on the top just been in there for a meal and uh, it's a bit of a dump and it's a bit awful and uh, be honest as we might end up with a bad stomach. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll show some pictures as we go through the tunnel. Well here we are just about to enter the world's longest tunnel at 24 and a half kilometres. Please follow the road for 15 miles. There, 15 miles off, but it's set on wrong. 15 mile long tunnel. Yeah, 
it's going to be 10 kilometers or one miles at present. And in this long tunnel, there's like three huge caverns, and we're just coming to the first one. to go. Eight miles to go and we're just coming to the next cavern. to the exit now. That's bright. That looks quite a big waterfall. Uh, just about to get on a ferry to cross the fjord there and electric cars get 50% off the price so not free as I was led to believe B&B, we've booked one of those, uh, it's in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of Norway, <laughs> apart from it's on a nice fjord, I'll show you that in a bit, uh, the room is through there, it's a private room, uh, tomorrow we're going up into the mountains to a place called The View, so I'll finish today's video with just a view of like where we're staying, yeah the room is there, and we've got a view of the fjord. Right, this morning we're making our way up a mountain to a place called, I'm not sure it's called, but I think in English it's called the view. There's a big viewing platform at the top of the mountain, it's 700 metres above sea level. We're just going to catch the ferry to get to it and we're going somewhere up those mountains where there's snow. Well, I'm going to try a little experiment here. We're going up this mountain road up here up to a viewing point which is 700 meters above sea level it's about six miles and i've got 179 miles range and we'll uh, see how much power i use going up the hill in six miles and then coming back down how much power i get back regening Well, coming up that 
hill was 5.9 miles and it was 900 and odd kilowatts bloody hell 989 kilowatts an hour it was using and the range is down to 159 so it's used 20 miles of range to do six miles because it were uphill hopefully going down i'll get some of that back and here is the road we have just come up quite effortless in a tesla there's some solar panels up here but can't plug the car in Just about to set off back down the road and I've got 159 miles so let's see how much I get back with regen when we get back to the bottom I'm now back in the same place where I set off from so that's like a six mile journey and now I've got uh, 167 on so I've got uh, nine miles back in the six miles and just to show the power gauge, that was the power going up, went off the scale, and the power coming down, that's gone off the scale. Car's having a bit of a charge, along with another blue one. It's parked a bit inconsiderate, I've had to park funny so I could get to the charger. We're in a place called Belstrand, I think it's called. Nearly booked that hotel for the night side of the fjord uh, Morning, another morning in Norway That was an Airbnb for the night Or two nights we're leaving this morning for towards Trondheim. Right, it should be about a, probably an eight hour drive, including charges. Uh, we're just outside a place called Sognal or something. <laughs> I can't pronounce these Norwegian names. So, we're on the way to Trondheim. Going to a climb up a mountain. Look how wiggly this is. Ooh, shaky because I'm on a bad piece of road. What are the bad bends? Bad bend. Bad bend. Oh, bad bend. Bad bend. Bad bend. Oh, bad bend. <laughs> Climbing up this mountain. Well, this snow has melted a hell of a lot, but it's still thick. Must be about six foot thick there. I've just checked on my uh, altitude uh, app I've got on the phone and where I've just taken a picture of that snow 
we're 4,100 feet high and it's damn cold outside, <laughs> 10 degrees. I bet some of this snow never melts. Well, we stopped at Dumbass uh, Supercharger, but I didn't get to film there because we went for a meal and it took them that long to serve us that uh, the car had charged up, so we had to rush back for idle fees. We just had to stop now because she wanted the toilet. <laughs> Somewhere on the road to Trondheim, a little rest area. supercharger uh, these charges are a bit confusing for, for, for me you come to some of them on this side and some of them on the other side you come through the petrol station to get through the ones on this side and if it was full like when I arrived you have to go back out through the petrol station round the road and come in come in through that roundabout over there and then down this road to get to the ones at the other side and they're all together it's hard to decipher which one's for one side and which side's for the other side very confusing well we've now arrived in L we've gone to L it's the hopes we get back yeah this is a place in Norway called L we're in the Scandic L we've just been to the railway station which says L The car is parked down there. Hope it'll be safe. Nearly 2,000 miles we've done now. <laughs> 